Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. I'm Elisabetta, an Italian watercolor artist and I have a passion for art supplies. Today we are swatching the last chapter of uh, our Quinacridon adventure and there will be Quinacridon purple or Quinacridon violet with two pigments, they are PV19 and PV55. We have many colors to swatch, so stay with me and let's start swatching. I'm growing a real passion for violet colors. We have already swatched some uh, cobalt violet. Today's is quinacridone, but in my future videos, I think uh, that I will swatch more violet pigments. Let me know in the comment if you're interested, like manganese or ultramarine violet. I'm very interested in these uh, single pigment violets. But let, let's start right now. You know that uh, quinacridone colors have been invented for car industry and they're very, very performing. They're light, fast, they're transparent. They're ideal for glazing. But let's start with Old Holland. And I'll take my Old Holland from my palette. And this is Chevening and Violet. Now, I have already swatched PV19 in its uh, rose version because PV19 is really a multi-personality pigment and uh, it's difficult to say when it's violet, when it's rose, but it can be rose or violet. This is the violet version, it looks a bit like magenta. If you want to see the difference with the, the rose version i have here shevening and rose i put it here same pigment but it is in the rose version can you see the difference this is uh, more like uh, a violet this is a rose like a cherry rose but they're both pv19 same manufacturer old holland then we go to m gram quinacridone violet Someone calls it purple, someone calls it violet. So it was kind of difficult to make sure I was doing the right choices. And uh, this is uh, one of, uh, this is part of the wonderful gift uh, that I have received, uh, the art uh, supplies uh, box that I have received from a follower. I'm so grateful about this. And this is M-Gram, very similar. On the whole land, I haven't re wet the paper this time. I had it here, but I don't think really we need to re wet the paper with quinacridone colors because they're so performing, they have excellent flow on paper usually. Okay, it's very beautiful. This one, very smooth. Then we have Quinacridone Lake by My Mary. Lacca Quinacridone, Quinacridone Lake by My Mary. My Mary Blue is uh, one of my favorite brands actually. It's made in Italy, so the impact on the planet should be lower it's made here and it's quite beautiful but it's very beautiful usually very transparent saturated also very beautiful a lot of paint from the tube I have a bit exaggerated so we need to wait until it dries to compare it but so far I find it quite consistent across brands I don't see such a big 
difference they're all very beautiful and then i have this um, full pan by rosa gallery you know that i have a soft spot for this um, paint it's made in ukraine and uh, i think that uh, i'm not using any russian brand until the war is uh, continuing they're really suffering in this country it's a way to support uh, it's a way to show support for ukraine buying rosa gallery but it's also fantastic paint such beautiful paint look um, incredible flown paper very pigmented it wets uh, so easily and uh, they're all very similar i find this uh, quinacridone violet pv19 very beautiful pigment and this is quinacridone lilac by rosa i'm sorry i made a mistake here I wrote twice the same paint, my Mary Quinacridon Lake, but no, this is Rosa, the full pan, Quinacridon Lilac. And now we are swatching Quinacridon Purple, PV55. And the first one, according to my tradition to start with Windsor and Newton, it's by Windsor and Newton. Let's see the difference between PV19 and PV. 55 uh, okay 55 wow it's a pleasure to paint with this i think it's maybe more bluish yes it's definitely more bluish it's a very beautiful violet of course it's non-granulating you know that most uh, queen acridon colors are non-granulating Yes, definitely more bluish. Very nice. Very, very nice. Then we have uh, our second My Mary Blue. This is Quinacridon Violet by My Mary Blue, PV55. Uh, My Mary has such a huge range of Quinacridon colors. Definitely more bluish this PV55 compared to PV19. So this is good news. You can have both in your palette. Very transparent, very beautiful. It's not the most bluish purple that uh, it is uh, in the world. Eh? Because, uh, for instance, dioxazine violet is usually more bluish. But we'll soon compare all the violets I have. So I don't want to spoil the surprise. Very beautiful, this My Mary Blue. Then we got Rembrandt. Rembrandt, you know, is one of my favorite brands because it's very professional. Um, a correct uh, price, a good price. This is called Queen Aquilon Purple Bluish. Just to underline this uh, more bluish uh, undertone. This one has a different texture. I wouldn't say it granulates because it doesn't, but it's more cloudy and um, I don't mind it. It's nice. It's less smooth, but I like it when it gets slightly cloudy like this. Keep adding color. Very nice, nice texture. Then we have, and it's always nice to swatch a schminke color. And this is quinacridone purple. Usually schminke is always a pleasure. German brand, wonderful colors. And it is wonderful, actually. Mm. So far, it's maybe my favorite. Oh, wow. Just a minuscule touch and uh, it goes such a long way. Wow, this is so pigmented. So pigmented. One day I have to swatch uh, all my schminkers, all my Mary, 
which one would you like to see first? Let me know in the comments. Maybe I will start with my Mary, but let me know. These are all tubes that I have bought open stock when there were sales or coupons. And then I have, which I'm very curious to try, Michael Harding Quinacridone Purple, Viola di Quinacridone. I like it when they put it in Italian. It's nice. Usually Michael Harding is a category killer. So pigmented and it is. Uh, look, uh, it stands out really. It really stands out. Oh, it's like a gem. It's jewel like. Mm. I'm waiting for a sale of Michael Harding and uh, I will buy more. Oh, this is absolutely incredible. The hue is slightly different, it's less bluish. A small violet but it is a pv55 and it's wonderful i i promise i did put just a touch of color from the tube and this is the result it's wonderful it's really wonderful wow this michael harding is something then pv19 we go back to pv19 pv19 it's a common ingredient of many multi pigment uh, paint i have picked uh, three different violets that contain pv19 just to show you the difference the first one is roman schmal and it is mineral violet it is pb29 ultramarine and pv 19 so it granulates and it, it is a lovely violet i think because it has the beauty of uh, quinacridone colors but the addition of ultramarine makes it granulate i will add some water maybe to favor granulation okay and this is Roman Schmal Mineral Violet. You see already the color separation between PB29 and PB19. It is really beautiful. This color, I think, is a must-have in any palette. Wonderful. Then we have Mauve by Rembrandt. And this Mauve is PB19 plus PB15. Which is very curious. It's more reddish compared to the mineral violet because it has a different composition i will say that here the quinacridone component is prevailing because it's very much uh, a violet uh, quinacridone violet it's a beautiful mauve if we compare it to quinacridone purple bluish is um, Sounds so different. We need to wait until it dries. A slightly more bluish still than the PV19 violet. It's uh, in between these two hues, I think. It's beautiful. Let's wait until it dries. And then we have a very nice color, which is Royal Purple by Paul Rubens. I, I like it a lot. I use it. And it is the same ingredients of uh, Roma Schmal uh, Mineral Violet and it has PB19 first ingredient and then PB29 Ultramarine uh, Violet, Ultramarine Blue and uh, if I'm not wrong because I use it, I have in my palette, it granulates and uh, it has a lovely color separation. It's a very nice color. I have a video about uh, the, um, these granulating colors by Paul Rubens. I put a link in the notes. It's 
not so different from uh, Romesh Mineral Violet, I think. Let me add some water. It's only that I have put more color here than here. Just to be fair, I will add more color here from Romeshman. Here it went so easily that it's a pity. It's not so different actually. Wonderful this Romeshman. Okay. So we let this dry and we make some mixes in the meanwhile. Okay. So what I have done, I've used two My Mary colors. I have used uh, Queen Acridon Lake PV19 and Queen Acridon Violet PV55, both by My Mary. And uh, I will mix them with some colors from my Paul Rubens uh, paint, which is a paint with a good value for money, but an artist uh, quality, so it's correct. So I think that maybe we can start from uh, Cadmium yellow. So now we have finished uh, the mixes. You see, I have made a mistake. So this is cobalt blue, like this one. This is with orange, the mixes that I wanted to try for a PV19 also, but I didn't. So we have one more mix here. And here we have with the May green, but um, we will uh, wait until they dry and see if there are any differences in the mixes. I already have my favorite here. We'll see soon. Okay, now we're back. Colors are completely dry. The My Mary Blue has uh, some sheen here, but uh, I put too much paint, so it's my fault. So it's the only one who has some extra color. It is dry, but here on the border, there is some extra paint. Don't consider it. So my consideration are that uh, once dry, they're not so similar as they seem to be in the beginning. I would say that, you know, then there is a human error, more paint here, less paint there. I really like uh, M. Graham. It's very beautiful. And I really like the Rosa Gallery. It's very jewel-like. Uh, my Mary Blue is also very nice. The Queen Acridon Lake, very, very nice. The Old Holland is slightly duller. So it is also nice. It depends on the 
effect that you want to have is slightly more muted which i don't mind but uh, it is a bit different it's duller so if you want a vibrant classic queen acridon violet pv19 i would go with um, one of these uh, three brands i'm really impressed by rosa gallery it's beautiful and then the pv55 it's very beautiful once dry it's definitely more bluish once dry and uh, they're all beautiful the Windsor and newton is always a benchmark for me and once again it confirms its um, professional qualities rembrandt is also very nice but you know Windsor and newton and rembrandt are often very comparable my mary blue also very nice maybe slightly less saturated maybe but might have been me schminke is nice but i don't know there's a cauliflower here i don't know if it was me or the paint but still very nice and michael harding wow michael harding is a category apart it's incredibly pigmented slightly less bluish slightly uh, it's slightly more reddish i find but uh, it's really nice it's really nice this michael hardy i can tell you that um, i really put a minuscule touch of paint in michael hardy less than here and look at the result then we have these wonderful three mixes i think that the roma schmal is really outstanding it's really beautiful look at the granulation i hope you can see it look at the color separation color separation always makes me fall in love with watercolor mauve is very nice but um i don't see any color separation it's very smooth and uh, i i really like this property here and the paul rubens is also very nice but if you can get hold of roma schmal in less complicated called paul rubens at least in italy you can only buy through aliexpress it's not so cheap to buy open stock tubes but it's very nice so now the mixes are dry i have written uh, <clears throat> the mixes down i've made a little mess here forgive me but it's interesting because we have one extra mix here so let's start here they both with cadmium yellow. Here I must have made something wrong. There was probably not enough uh, PV55. So I will try to take some from here and put it here to see the difference. But the result, uh, I never saw it when it was wet, but uh, the result with cadmium yellow is really with pv19 an adorable warm orange i think that in sunset if you mix these two colors pv19 and uh, um, cadmium yellow you get some incredible results and uh, the same with pv55 uh, can become very nice but it, more, it is more brownish because of the blue undertone of pv55 so it's less interesting when mixed with yellow I think then um, PV19. Then we have this um, mix that I made by mistake with permanent orange and it's wonderful especially if you don't mix the two paints too much you let them do their own work you have uh, some orange showing through and uh, it's really beautiful it becomes uh, paper on fire with these two colors together with cobalt blue what happens what happens is a wonderful granulation here lovely color separation and um, it's a it's a very nice mix it works very very well here it's clearer because it's wider area I'm not sure what would happen here if I had a larger area, but it's also very nice. But the contrast is higher with PV19 than with uh, PV55, I think. In any case, it's, it's wonderful, this one. With yellow-green, mm, it's less interesting. It's a bit muddy. It's a warm a brown uh, or a maroon. It depends on the ratio of color. I don't know. I'm not sure I like this, uh, but it's interesting. What I really love is this mix with phthalo green. You get this peacock blue. 
this is absolutely wonderful i think maybe for even for deep water a lake a lake in the sunset i can't wait to try this in a painting with tallow green is really wonderful i very seldom use tallow green on its own but i think that in mixes tallow green gives its best and it's wonderful with either of uh, these two pigments wonderful and with yellow ochre it's really nice once again i maybe prefer the pv19 version the pv55 is um, slightly odder i'm still to have to understand what i can how i can use this mix but this warm uh, um, flesh color is really interesting for for skin color i would say this is really nice and um, this maybe for botanicals could be nice but i'm not sure so i think that pv55 on its own it's a wonderful color but for mixes pv19 is superior it gives incredible results and um, pv55 is maybe superior if you mix it with tallow green you get uh, nice colors but i would play with both if i were you just try let me know how you use these two colors uh, and uh, if you have them if you have a favorite brand i'm always curious and i'm always ready to chat over with my followers so i'm really curious to know your experience with these two pigments pv19 is very common in many watercolor set you find a version either violet or rose but it's quite a common pigment especially mixes but also single pigment uh, tubes or pens but pv55 slightly more rare but it's it's a nice color to have because of its a vibrant uh, smooth uh, bluish purple so i really thank you for having watched uh, this video with me and that's all for the moment. I can't wait to hear your comments. And if you have liked this video, as usual, you can leave a comment or a thumb up, or you can subscribe to my channel. That would be great. So you don't miss my next videos. So I'll talk to you soon. Ciao, 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 ciao.